Hello ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to this video, a very warm welcome to another video of mine. Well, today I'm gonna talk about the Leo Ascendant people. I'm gonna tell you all how your year 2023 would be. You know, I'm gonna speak about Leo Ascendant people in the context of let the past go so that you can grow. You know, on the 1st of January 2023, in the first house, I mean in your ascendant, there will be no planets. In the second house, in the Virgo sign, there will be no planets. In the third house, in the Libra sign, you'd be seeing the planet Ketu, the south lunar node, the shadowy planet Ketu. In the fourth house, in the Scorpio sign, you wouldn't be seeing any planets. In the fifth house, in the Sagittarius sign, you would be seeing the planets Sun and Mercury. In the 6th house, in the Capricorn sign, you'd be seeing the planets Saturn and Venus. In the 7th house, in the Aquarius sign, you'd be seeing no planets. In the 8th house, in the Pisces sign, in its own sign, you'd be seeing the planet Jupiter. In the 9th house, in the Aries sign, you'd be seeing the planets Rahu and Moon. And in the 10th house, in the Taurus sign, you'd be seeing the planet Mars. And in the 11th and 12th house, there will be no planets. So this would be the planetary position for y'all on the 1st of January 2023. You know, seeing the planetary positions on the 1st of January 2023 and the planetary positions all throughout the year 2023. Leo ascendant people, I want to tell y'all something today. I want to tell y'all that you need to forget your past at this point in time. You need to let your past go at this point in time so that you can grow. You have been holding to your past for far too long now. You have been thinking about the past. You have been pondering over the past. You have been finding faults about your past. You have been discussing about your past with other people and you have been wasting time. And you have been wasting time doing this since a long time. You know, I just want to tell you all, forget your past. You can't drive a car by looking at the rear view mirror. If you are looking at the rear view mirror and driving a car, then sooner or later you will meet with an accident. Nobody in this world can drive a car by looking at the rear view mirror. All that the rear view mirror does in that car is to remind you of the past and the mistakes you have made in the past so that you don't make those same mistakes once again. What is of use is that windshield through which you are seeing your life, your road to success, your future. So concentrate on seeing through that windshield in that car. Because through that windshield, you can see your future. You can build your future. You can have a happier and a better life if you concentrate on seeing through the windshield of that car. You know, if you have been holding on to bad relationships, if you have been holding on to people who are negative and toxic for you, if you are feeling a sense of indignation, just because you have been treated unfairly by people in the past. If you have been thinking about the past for too long, then it is time for you to change the course of your life. You need to focus on your future, on your present, because your present time will determine your brighter future. So try to focus on your present as well as the future. You know, you can't bring back your past time. You cannot rectify those mistakes which you have done in the past. What you can do is work, concentrate, focus on your present so that you can build a brighter future for yourself. You know, I am reminded of a poem which says, Trust no future, however pleasant. Let the past bury its dead. Work, work in the living present with heart within and God overhead. You can't beat yourself up for those past mistakes. What you can do is work on yourself at this point in time. Work on your mind. Work on your relationships at this point in time. Work on something right now to develop a great future for yourself. 
so you need to focus on your present as well as the future not on the past the other thing which i want to tell you all that don't try to control everything in your life in the year 2023 don't try to control your relatives don't try to control your relationships because let me tell you that nothing is in your hands it is all because of god's doing the world is where it is it is not because of you that things are happening in this world it is because of god and things are happening in your life so if you think that you can control your life you can control your relationships you can make people better in their life then you are sadly mistaken that is a wrong conception you have about life the only entity in this world who is in control of things is god so i'd say that leave everything upon god and you do what you can do as somebody rightly said that pray as if everything depends upon god and work as if everything depends upon you you know you need to do what you can and god will do what you can't so remember that don't try to control people in your life don't try to change their habits their behaviors in fact i'd say that you need to change yourself because changing yourself is a full time work don't try to think that it is because of you they are living their lives no it is not because of you it is because of god so leave everything upon god at this point in time you know if you try to control things in your life in the year 2023 then things are going to become very challenging and difficult for you i am not saying that you don't need to fulfill your responsibilities all i am saying that try to better yourself in the year 2023 and i want to tell you all that you need to be an optimist at this point in time you need to be optimistic about life at this point in time you have been negative in the past you have been stopping yourself from doing things because of your negative thoughts hence you need to become an optimist at this point in time you know the difference between an optimist and a pessimist is that that an optimist sees barriers hurdles and obstacles in their life and all they see are opportunities in them you know an optimist will see a positive in every situation while a pessimist person will see opportunities and all they will see are barriers hurdles and obstacles they will make all kinds of excuses not to do a thing you know two people same situation one gets a positive result the other gets a negative results the reason for this is because our lives are basically affected by the way we think things are not the way they are you know an optimist will see a glass half full while a pessimist will see a glass half empty so you need to be an optimist at this point in time and you need to just ponder on those thoughts which are positive which will give you a positive life in the future which will give you a better life well this is what something i wanted to tell the leo ascendant for the year 2023 Well now let me get specific in some areas of your life in some activities of your life let me start with people who are doing a job well for those people who are doing a job let me tell you that the year 2023 is going to be a fantastic year for you all you are going to see steady progress in your job in the year 2023 and you might get a major salary hike in the year 2023 there wouldn't be any dearth of money in your life in the year 2023 if you are doing a job i would say that you would consolidate your position in that organization in that company where you are working your bosses and your colleagues are going to support you in the year 2023 that for those people who are trying to find a job for themselves let me tell you that after june 2023 you are going to find a job for yourself and this job which you will find will continue for a very long time well for business people this year is going to be a fantastic year for you all you are going to multiply your business in the year 
you are going to add sufficient number of customers to your existing list of customers which will enhance your business in the year 2023 money will not be a problem for you in your business in the year 2023 the only problem which i see for you all is your staff your employees who may try to tarnish your image in front of your customers who may try to destroy your reputation in front of the customers they would be a source of irritation and frustration for you in the year 2023 hence you need to keep a watch on them well on the health front this year is going to be a great year for you all you are going to recover from all the illnesses all the sickness all the diseases you had in the past you are going to find a medicine a cure to your illness in the year 2023 soon after march 2023 you will find a miraculous remedy a home remedy which will cure you within months if not days in the year 2023 well for those people who are suffering from a chronic illness they will also see a vast improvement in their health well drink lots of water and follow a strict regimen in the year 2023 However the parts of the body the organs of the body which you need to take care of is your gall bladder your lungs your stomach your digestive system your eyes your teeth and your bones so if you face any sort of problem regarding these parts these organs of the body then you need to give special attention to it well for those people who are in a love relationship who are in a romantic relationship let me tell you that this year is going to be a great year for you all you and your love partner are going to enjoy a lot in the year 2023 you all are going to stay in harmony with each other it would be impossible for you or your love partner to stay without each other in the year 2023 you and your love partner will always be remembering each other in the year 2023 it would be absolutely impossible for you all to live without each other hence you all will decide to marry in the year 2023 your bond with your love partner would be so strong that it will be difficult for anyone to break that relationship in the year 2023 well for those people who are looking for a new love Let me tell you that after August 2023 you will find that love partner in your life who could also be a life partner for you in the future. Well for students this year is going to be an awesome year for you all. You are going to get that focus and attention back which you had lost in the previous years. You are going to focus and give attention to your studies in the year 2023 because you'd realize that without education you are not going to make any progress in your life. You will find that the environment around you demands you to study and study very hard in the year 2023. There will be an urge within you to excel in your studies in the year 2023. and for those students who are aspiring to get admitted to a certain college a college of their choice they are most likely to get admission in that college in the year 2023 the only source of mass distraction for you all would be the opposite sex as well as the electronic gadgets don't use the electronic gadgets for anything else apart from your studies and stop indulging with the opposite sex in the year 2023 well for married people this year is going to be an okay sort of year for you all neither too good nor too bad you and your spouse are going to work very hard to uplift your family in the year 2023 you and your spouse are going to remain in harmony for most of the year i mean 2023 I'd say that don't overcommit to your spouse at this point in time. If you are not able to fulfill your promises with your spouse, then there could be some sort of dissatisfaction in your relationship. Hence you shouldn't overcommit to your spouse in the year 2023. There can be an addition to your family in the year 2023. Well, for those people who are wanting to get married, let me tell you that after march 2023 you are likely to find your life partner and this life partner which you will find 
will be an ideal life partner for you. Don't linger your engagement and get married as soon as possible in the year 2023. When choosing your life partner, you should take suggestion from your elders in the year 2023. Well, for people who are in the stock market, let me tell you that y'all are gonna earn a lot of money in the stock market. Y'all are gonna see a lot of money in the stock market. And if you see profits on your investments, then you should book your profits in the year 2023. Don't delay in booking profits in the year 2023 if you see those profits on your investments. You shouldn't make any sort of fresh investments in the stock market in the year 2023. And the other thing is that you shouldn't gamble in the stock market or anywhere else in the year 2023 because it is likely that you will lose a lot of your hard-earned money in the year 2023 if you gamble in the stock market or anywhere else. Well, for people who are in debt, this year is gonna be a good year for y'all. You will be able to pay your debt on time in the year 2023. You will easily be able to pay your EMIs, your installment on those loans on time in the year 2023 as there will be no dearth of money in your life in the year 2023. Please do not take a fresh loan in the year 2023. Well, Leo Ascendant people, here is something else for y'all. If you want to protect yourself from all the dangers of this world, if you want to overcome all the obstacles, hurdles and barriers of your life in the year 2023, then I wanna tell you all about a remedy just now. All you have to do is give 50 rupees each to 6 different poor people. If you are staying abroad, give 5 dollars each to 6 different poor people. The second step of the remedy is that you have to donate 9 kgs of raw white rice to 9 different poor people. 1 kg each to those 9 different poor people. The third step of the remedy is that you have to distribute 36 bananas to 12 different poor people. You have to give 3 bananas each to 12 different poor people. The fourth and final step of the remedy is that you have to give 8 black blankets or 8 black umbrellas or 8 black garments to 8 different poor people. So this is a very simple remedy which you can follow to protect yourself from all the dangers of this world in the year 2023. You can do this remedy on any Sunday of the year 2023. Well, these were my general predictions about the Leo Ascendant people for the year 2023. If you want some specific predictions about yourself, then you may contact me directly. Well, like I always say, that if you wish to know your future through astrology and you are determined to live the best possible version of yourself, well, one must always try to live his or her best version of themselves because there is only one life to live. There are no duplicates of a life. You will not get this life once again. And if you want to enhance your luck in your life, if you want to boost your luck in your life, if you want to increase and improve your luck in your life, because luck plays an important factor in the life of human beings. So if you want to boost this thing called luck, then I have several remedies for you. You know, these remedies which I'm talking about are a fusion of astrological remedies, Vastu remedies and religious remedies, which can be utilized by any person of any religion. Because I believe that there is only one God in this universe. I'm talking about that God who has created this universe and all the things in it, including us. And if you want me to pray for you, because prayer can move mountains. So if you want me to pray for your health, wealth, success, money, business, career, job, relationships, love relationships, marriage, married life, children, property, etc, etc, etc. Then also you may contact me. And if you want a Vastu visit of your flat, office, residence, factory, etc, etc, etc. Then also you may contact me. And if you are hell bent on taking your life from the ridiculous to the sublime, from the low point to the high point, from nothing 
to something then you may contact me over whatsapp my whatsapp number has been given on this video have a great day and a great year 2023 god bless you all jai mata di jai ma kali